one line ahead of you, but thanks for, uh, for, for coming today. I think uh, uh, S Senator Lummis is next, and I believe she's going to join us by WebEx. Uh, Cynthia, are you out there? Senator Lummis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Secretary Buttigieg, thank you for your time today. Um, on February 11th, a, a federal court issued a preliminary injunction that prohibits 11 agencies, including the Department of Transportation, from using a metric known as the social cost of greenhouse gases. That injunction also prohibits Thanks, DOT Thanks, staff Mike. from participating in the interagency working group established by President Biden. Uh, his administration is using figures to help justify its sweeping uh, environmental agenda. Um, has DOT fully stopped using this figure as required by the court? So uh, we are uh, making sure to comply with, with all court decisions and, and relevant laws. Uh, we're still reviewing this injunction. Uh, it certainly has the potential to impact a number of rulemakings, grant programs, uh, and other projects, and so we're trying to work through that in a way that uh, minimizes the disruption to our ability to get uh, rules done and, and to get dollars out the door, uh, but uh, but meets our uh, our ability to, uh, of course, uh, respond in every legally appropriate way to to the meaning of the injunction. Um, I'll be interested in receiving documentation demonstrating DOT's compliance uh, with. Uh, portions of the injunction. Can I uh, rely on you to help me uh, get that information? We'd be happy to follow up with you on uh, anything you need relative to our compliance. Great. Thank you so much. Um, now I want to switch to the issue of truck parking. Mm. Um, Mr. Secretary, um, one of the issues that I focused on during my time serving on this committee has been the lack of available truck parking. Uh, it came up even as recently as last week. I was in Wyoming, got right to, from Cheyenne to Laramie on Interstate 80. They closed the interstate right in front of me due to uh, weather issues. And uh, here was a, a ribbon of uh, highway with trucks uh, lining both sides. Uh, and very difficult for um, anybody uh, not driving a truck to get off. So you've got trucks idling for miles uh, while during the hours that it took to reopen Interstate 80. Um, states um, have the ability to create truck parking capacity uh, within the current formula programs, but there's still a lack of capacity. Um, how concerned is DOT over this issue? Very concerned, and, and I appreciate you raising this. This is a very important issue, and if you talk with any truck driver, it is not only an issue of uh, convenience, it is an issue of safety. And, yes. uh, and I might add, as you pointed out, with the idling that goes on, it's, it's even an issue of, of, of emissions. Uh, let Absolutely me mention Absolutely right. Uh, so I, I share your enthusiasm for, for addressing this. I was just with uh, a number of folks in the trucking industry the other day. Uh, let me mention a few programs we think could be useful here. Uh, the Surface Transportation Block Grant Program, National Highway Freight Program, the Highway Safety Improvement Program, uh, as we talked about this being a safety issue, uh, the National Highway Performance Program, and the Congestion Mitigation and Air Quality Improvement Program. But let me also mention that, that uh, I don't think it's unreasonable to look into whether the carbon reduction program uh, and in some ways, perhaps in certain locations, uh, a program, a discretionary uh, program that's for reducing truck idling at port facilities might be relevant here as well. We're, we're hearing this everywhere we go with truck drivers and I'd, I'd welcome an opportunity to work with you to make sure that the uh, funding and, and the authorities available in the law are actually being used to alleviate that problem. Fabulous. Thank you. I, I would be delighted to work with you on that. It's a big issue in my state, especially uh, on Interstate 80, which crosses the entirety of southern Wyoming. Um, now, it's my understanding that the most recent Jason's Law report has been completed, uh, but not released to the public. 
Uh, and can you explain uh, what the delay is there? Jason's law was uh, de dealt with truck parking and uh, in a couple of highway bills ago, <laughs> uh, and the report is apparently delayed. Let me run that down and, and try to get more up-to-date information for you on that. That'll be great. Hey, thank you so much, and I'll uh, reach out to you uh, subsequently so I can make sure that uh, Wyoming's DOT is accessing every possible program available uh, to alleviate our uh, truck parking issues on Interstate 80. Really appreciate your time today, Mr. Secretary. Thank you very much. I yield back. Uh, Senator Lemus, uh, thanks so much for, for joining us. You, 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 don't, you wouldn't know this, but when it, we're, we're uh, live uh, with about the first five or six uh, members who are asking questions, and then uh, we went to you on, on WebEx, and you, you heard the term voice of God. Your voice was so loud, we could probably heard you all the way in Wyoming. But no. <laughs> a voice Sorry. heard around the world. <laughs> Sorry but. about that. I don't, I don't have a, a Chaplain Black uh, baritone. Uh, so that was probably a little annoying, Mr. No, I was not at all annoying, that. but he doesn't have your volume either. So, all right. Uh, it looks like Senator Padilla is next on WebEx. Uh, Senator Wicker has been here. Say, say again. Uh, all right, but in person, live and in person. Uh, is, that, is that correct? Ahead of Senator uh, Markey? 